right. Well, hey, everybody, it's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again in the vape layer for another video. I want to give a very, very warm welcome to my new subscribers. I do hope you find what you're looking for and let me be the first to say good luck on your vaping journey. I don't know, that guy, that was so cheesy. Today we're gonna to be talking about a rebuildable atomizer. This comes from VaporRoyale.com. I've already kind of done this video. Uh, I did a version of this. There was a brass version of the Chaos, but this is the stainless steel version of the Chaos. So for all intents and purposes, this is basically, I could have just up, I could have just re-uploaded the, you know, the brass version of the Chaos Rebuildable Atomizer and then just changed all the notations to have it say stainless steel. It's the same atomizer. It has the same deck, the same posts, the same cap, 22 millimeters, you know, 22, uh, what is that, millimeter diameter around so it looks flush on mods got the same adjustable airflow. It's essentially the exact same other than the material it's made out of. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing a rebuilding portion at the end, but what I am gonna do right now is a really quick uppy closey time with it. All right, so I'm not gonna be doing a rebuildy portion at the end of this, because I've already done uh, a lot of rebuilds on a lot of different atomizers, and they're plentifully available on YouTube, and I've also done a build on this particular atomizer, a different version of this. It was the, uh, the brass version of this. Well, now there's a stainless steel version of this, and it looks, I mean, it looks the same. It has an adjustable airflow. It's easy to build on. I have my gnome handy here, so I'm gonna use that for, uh, for disassembling this, but this is a drip tip from the RSST, just because I think it looks uh, looks kind of cool on this. But uh, right now this is set to the biggest airflow holes, which means you'll have two large airflow holes that are going to uh, line up with your coils right there. So if I fire this, ooh, you should see vapors happening. Oh, well, I guess it helps if uh, I haven't been using it on this mod, so it's not going to, uh, it's not going to uh, it's not going to fire which uh, upsets me in in many ways many many ways in every way possible it upsets me um, I'm just gonna grab my rag real fast hold please Okay, so we have the stainless steel chaos back here. So this is a three post uh, rebuildable atomizer and there's little eyelets in every post for you know running your positive and negative leads through. I have one coil over here, I have one coil over here and I have kind of an interesting looking wick. So just as an update real fast, been using this bamboo uh, yarn, Aunt Lydia's crochet yarn. This is 100% bamboo. It's 100% yarn made from bamboo machine wash gentle uh it's 1.5 millimeters um i feel like uh if this were thicker i would be enjoying it a lot more as it stands i've had to fold it over on itself like four times and then wick it through the holes uh it doesn't give me any weird off flavors but neither does cotton it doesn't uh seem to scorch very easily i've been using this for about a week now and it still looks uh, pretty pretty nice in there. Uh, the flavor's good. The performance seems to be good. Um, I'm going to continue using them and uh, we'll see. I would like to get some thicker ones because as you can see this uh, this particular bamboo yarn is, is quite thin and uh, like I said I have to wrap it over on itself to make a thick enough wick to kind of um, you know fish it through there so that it actually is touching the coils obviously you can't just one you know run one tiny little piece of thread through there it's not gonna make contact with your coils and it's just you know you're gonna get hot spots it's gonna be it's gonna be a bad scene but uh, but yeah so the chaos comes in uh, has a dual functioning top cap so I'm gonna put this part aside but remember when you put this back together you want to line the up with uh, you want to line that up with your coils so if I take this top part out just like that and once again I'm gonna get my rag um, basically aesthetically on the outside nothing is gonna change by adjusting your airflow it's still gonna look uh, it's still gonna look 
like you have two holes, <laughs> two big ass holes right there. And all the adjustment is done on the inside. And so now we have a plethora of holes, big to very, very tiny. And if you look at this very, very tiny one right here, on the other side, there's also a very, very tiny one. So if you wanted to, so I always set this up um, just full open um, so that the biggest airflow hole is showing there. But if you turn this, you'll get to the little bit smaller ones and it just keeps going from there. Let's see if we can get to the even smaller ones. Come on, right there. You see how tiny that is? That is for uh, straight up just mouth to lung hits and uh, it makes for uh, a somewhat of an intense vape. Let's have one toot on the very small holes. Hmm. It's actually quite, quite nice for mouth to lung hits, very smooth. But if you're, uh, if you're doing the cloud chasing thing, then obviously uh, you don't want those holes. You want, you want the biggest, you want the biggest of the big right there, just like that. And uh, those are always going to be lined up with your, uh, with your coils right there. So yeah, that's kind of the stainless steel chaos inside and out. Uh, decent coils on there. This is a uh, uh, 0.4 ohms, I believe. Bamboo wick in there. Uh, it's easy to build on. It's easy to rethread the wicks. It's got a nice big deck and a, and a little lip right here so that your wick can kind of stay down and that'll collect any juice as well. Um, really enjoyed this, but uh, enough about that. Let's get back out to normal view. So yeah, I've really just been... Uh I've just been loving this chaos and, and I loved the old chaos and I love the new chaos. I really, 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 really like the adjustable airflow on here. I think so far in my experience that this, let me look around and make sure I'm not uh, gonna be uh, inserting my foot into my mouth. I think this might have the best adjustable airflow out of any rebuildable atomizer I've used. Um, I like that you can set it on the, uh, Let's set it on the biggest of the biggest of the settings. Boom, just like that. And you can do those nice big lung hits. The holes aren't gigantic, but they're big enough for lung hits. You might have to do a little carb action with your mouth when you do them. But, uh, whew. It works great and you can do you can do those big lung hits and then you can set it like somehow, sometimes I like to vape with the tiniest holes right there and you can do some mouth nice very very smooth whooshy airflow mouth to lung hits such as this so yeah this is a 0.4 ohm dual coil in here and uh like i said i've been using that bamboo uh yarn 100 percent uh made from bamboo yarn, uh, and it's just a little bit too thin. Uh, I like the properties of it, I like vaping with it, it gives me a nice good flavor. Um, what I'm gonna do is go back onto Amazon and try to find this in some like three millimeter uh, wick. Uh, the 1.5, uh, it's just uh, it's just a little, you can see how thin it is, it's just a little too thin. And even measuring it up against my 1.5 millimeter um, Silica, the silica is thicker than this, and I thought I would be okay, but it's just, uh, this will probably just end up being a loss. Um, I, I might give it away or just trash it. Uh, it's just, uh, <coughs> pardon me, it's just a little too thin. But regardless, it's been working well in the chaos, and the chaos is one of these atomizers that I don't like dread rebuilding. It's nice and easy to rebuild. The inside, as you just saw, has a little bit of a cup for your wick to sit in, for that juice to settle in. It's easy to build, it's three posts, you know what I mean? You can build a dual coil on there, you can build a single coil on there, and it'll work just fine. This one happens to be a dual coil, and doing a mouth to lung with this with this really nice airflow, doing that mouth to lung with a sub-ohm dual coil is really nice. This is only six milligram, and it, I mean, it feels like 12, it feels like 18. I like it. I like it, I like it a lot. Um, yeah, it is what it is. It's the uh, stainless steel chaos, and the stainless, the chaos has never had a, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot to turn down the brightness on my monitor. Uh, 
So sorry. So sorry about the brightness. Should I do it right now or is it is it too late? I can't believe I forgot to do that. <sighs> there. So much better. So much better. <coughs> my apologies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for not turning down the brightness on my monitor. And then you get that awful glare. Uh, I feel dumb. Uh, Stainless Steel Chaos Rebuildable Atomizer. The Chaos Rebuildable Atomizer has never carried a, uh, a, uh, a cheap price tag. It's a very nice rebuildable atomizer. In fact, I think they still have the old Chaos on here. Not 100% sure. Yeah, same price. Okay, so the Chaos, the one that's, that's made out of brass, it still exists. It's still on the site. Still $105. The stainless steel version... Anybody want to take a guess? One hundred and five dollars. Um, it's a it's a hard pill to swallow. I mean, that's a lot of scratch. That's a lot of wampum for a uh, for buying a rebuildable atomizer. And people always ask me this question: Oh, if all your vape gear was gone, what would you buy? What would you buy? What mod would you buy? What atomizer would you buy? And I always tell people the same thing: I would buy something with a DNA twenty or thirty, probably an Opus D because it has that internal battery. And I would get a KFON because, in my opinion, that's one of the best vapes that you will ever have. If I had to buy a dripper, if I had to buy a dripping rebuildable atomizer, I would probably buy the Chaos in stainless steel just because I've enjoyed using it so, so much. But you're going to need your vape budget hands. Anyway, that's what I got. It is what it is, and it is the Stainless Steel Chaos Vapor Royale. Of course, I'll have a link in the description to where you can purchase this if you're interested in said rebuildable atomizer. Remember to use your vape budget hands. Buy what you can buy. Afford what you can afford. I don't care if you use a clone. Uh, they're probably just as good. I don't know why I threw that clone part in there. People always ask about clones, and I don't, I don't, I don't care about clones. If you use a clone then I'm happy that you are vaping and I want you to use that clone and I want that clone to be the best thing you've ever had. That's what I got. I'm going to ramble here in a second. You see, this is why I like doing the vlogs because they just allow me to ramble. Stainless steel. I'll have a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's keep on vaping.